Within Malaysian society, there is a wide range of races. There is Malaysian, Indian, mixed, Chinese, and the ethnic or minorities of the peninsula and North Borneo. Being a multiracial country, Malaysia struggles to have a unified Malaysian culture, primarily because there is a social distinction between Malays and non-Malays. The Malays are the elites and dominate the country's special positions, whereas non-Malays are usually the Chinese middle class whose prosperous lifestyle leads Malaysia's shift to a consumer society. The reason for Malay domination was provoked by race riots in 1969 that persuaded the government that there is a need for Bumi Putera policies. In early 1971, the Constitution Amendment Act was passed adding a new clause number 8A to Article 153. In any university, college, and other educational institution providing education after Malaysian Certificate of Education or its equivalent, the number of places offered by the authority responsible for the management of the university, college, or such educational institution to candidates for any course or study is less than the number of candidates qualified for such places. It shall be lawful for the Yang Di Pertan Agong or the King, by virtue of this article, to give such directions to the authority as may be required to ensure the reservation of such proportion of such places for Malays and natives of any of the states of Sabah and Sarawak as the Yang Di Pertuan Agong may be reasonable and the authority shall duly comply with the directions. The Constitution, in simple terms, give Bumi Patrara special positions in educational institutions. They are already reserved for such proportions in certain institutions, while the leftover portion is given to non-Malays. Ethnic Malays make up just over half the population or so-called Bumi Patrara which include other indigenous groups on the Malay Peninsula and on Borneo, which makes up about 68%. That means the policy is biased because ethnic Malays are given more priority in terms of education and profession rather than the equal proportion of students of different races. The end result of this race-based policy has created hate and resentment between two communities because it gives preferential treatment to Bumi Puteras, traditionally seen as disenfranchised in such areas such as public sector jobs, housing, and higher education. The non-Malay community were most affected here because their children were denied the right to university education and business opportunities as what Bumi Putera have received. This led to unnecessary ethnic tensions between the Malays and non-Malays. Malaysia have arrested more than 1,400 anti-government protesters after thousands of people marched on the capital Kuala Lumpur. Critics also say the preferences have fostered cronism and a dependence on state handouts and have prompted many educated minorities to look for work overseas, gaining the economy of talent. It is also said that Bumi Patera issues must be cast aside for equality but that is not the case in Malaysia's race-based policy. Had only the government modified the affirmative action policies from a Bumi Putera-only program to a needs-based program, the Malay community's needs would still have been served and there would be no ethnic tensions between the two communities.